Interpreting Remainders Interpreting a remainder is an important skill when solving real-world problems that involve division. Sometimes we must round up the quotient to the next whole number. Other times we must ignore the remainder and just report the quotient. And there are also times where we must report the remainder and ignore the quotient. Let's take a look at these three different situations. First, meet Alex. He wants to organize all of his 85 DVDs into racks. He goes to the store and finds DVD racks that hold 20 DVDs each. How many DVD racks will he need to buy? To find his answer, Alex divides 85 by 20. The result of the division is 4, with a remainder of 5. Now, Alex must interpret the quotient and the remainder. Dividing 85 by 20, Alex took 85 DVDs and split them into equal groups of 20. The quotient is 4, so there are 4 equal groups each has 20 DVDs, and the remainder is 5. So there are 5 DVDs left over after Alex split his 85 DVDs into groups of 20. So how many DVD racks must Alex buy in order to ensure that all 85 DVDs are on racks? If Alex buys 4 racks, he will be able to have 4 full racks with 20 DVDs on each. The remainder of 5 indicates that Alex will need to buy one more DVD rack to ensure that all 85 DVDs are on racks. Even though the last rack only has 5 DVDs, Alex needs all 5 racks to fit all 85 DVDs. In this word problem, we interpreted our remainder and determined that we needed to round up the quotient to the next whole number.